en anteriores episodios de Life is Strange. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Hey, hola a todos, yo soy Marco y aquí estamos de nuevo con el Life is Strange. Hemos vuelto de nuevo al lugar donde estaba. Muy bien, pues no quieres ir, no pasa nada. Donde estaba Rachel. ¿Dónde? Que a ver si me dejan explicaroslo. Habíamos vuelto porque el capullo que supuestamente ha matado a Rachel está destruyendo todas las pruebas de, de lo que ha hecho y bueno, y todo lo que tiene y descubrimos en su laboratorio. Que está justamente aquí en un. En una especie de granero, así abandona. Si supiese cómo correr, igual corría. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Me lo temía. No creo que pueda rebobinar así. Ups. Bueno. En toda la frente. Vaya mal. ¿Será el hijo o será el padre? ¿O será el profesor? Uf, el profesorito. ¡Qué hijo de...! Vaya cabronazo. Logro desbloqueado. Dark Room. Bueno. Estará... El final del episodio número 4. Bueno, voy a pasar del, de todos los letreritos porque ya estamos cansados de verlo. Si eso ya lo veremos eh, cuando acabemos el quinto episodio, que es, es el que vamos a jugar ahora. Darum, has aceptado la petición de Chloe, el 58% sí y el 42% no, que yo la he rechazado. Eh, has evitado que Warren le dé una paliza a Nathan, el 59% como yo. Chloe ha herido a Fran, el 22%. Uh, no, no estoy entre los el más elegido, que es nadie ha salido herido. Eh, Victoria ha creído tu advertencia, 74%. Ahí estamos con todos, casi todos. Luego ha salvado la urraca azul. Wow. Porcentaje bajo. Bueno, bajo. Tirando por lo bajo. No has movido el nido del pájaro, la mayoría de la gente. Has conseguido los archivos de David de otro modo, la, un poco la mayoría de la gente, digamos. Que no te ha ayudado. Uh, el 40%. Has animado a Daniel a ir a la fiesta del Club Bortes, el 34% solo. Has dejado un mensaje en la pizarra de Warren, solo un 19%. No has averiguado el pin de Nathan, el 66%. Uf, la mayoría. Has ayudado a Lisa, la mayoría, 68%. Buenos días, se repite. Actualizar. No. 
salir. Qué cabronazo el profesor. Pues al final no era quien pensábamos. ¿eh? De nuevo la tormenta. Episodio 5. Polarizado. Continúa con tu historia. Pues continuamos, ¿no? Anteriormente en Life is Strange. Esto ya es el principio del todo. El primer capítulo. Rachel en el dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Mola la música. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Cada vez se pone más interesante y se acelera más en la historia. Life is Strange es un juego, una historia que presenta lecciones al jugador. Las consecuencias de todas tus acciones y decisiones influirán en el pasado, el presente y el futuro. Elige bien. Ahí como he estado rápido leyendo, ¿eh? A ver, el cabronazo este donde me tiene. No creo que me sirva rebobinar el tiempo ahora. Bueno, como podéis comprobar, no hay música. Ya la he quitado desde el episodio número 1 o el 2, debía ser. Y a ti su camarita. Tu pervertido el pavo este. Life is Strange, episodio 5. Polarese. O sea, polarizado. A ver cómo nos libramos de esta hora, ¿eh? Porque no sé yo si medio drogada qué poderes tendremos o, o qué pasará ahora. Voy a darle al control. No puedo. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? 
Oh. Nostra Mera. It's a dark room. Sí, a, a tu lado. Victoria. Victoria's secret. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. Victoria. Wake up. Wake up. Ya, quizás no sea lo más inteligente hablarla. Vamos a soltar la mano izquierda. Si sí podemos. Pie izquierdo. Tampoco. Mejor que duela y no soltemos. Nada, parece que no va, ¿eh? ¿Qué nos queda? A pie derecho. Bueno, lo último. Almost. A ver. La jeringuilla. Ni una foto. Vamos a tirar esto. Y ahora... Shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. Sí, lo he mirado. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Y estoy ya mirado todo. Bueno, vamos a volver al pasado. Sí, me concentro. Ahora. Cabronazo. Te voy a partir las piernas. Te voy a dejar la tuya fina, Filipina. Te voy a meter su objetivo por el cacas. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Una patada a las pelotas ahora y 
Paca. Todos los huevos. Es tonto el tío este, ¿no? Gracias, Max. Si solo Nathan pudiera ver este setup, lo intentó tan difícil. Pero no puedes solo tirar un par de objetos y esperar un estilo cohesivo o un tema. Pero él tenía un ojo para los sombras y un ojo para mucho más. Como su familia de élite familia se encontrará, junto con Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. God, it's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Ahora ser una patada y voladora en toda la boca para reventar los dientes. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take a shot. No parece que haya dudado mucho rebobinar, eh? Otra vez a la mierda. Bueno, hemos cambiado algo, pero poco. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Ahora las fotos son distintas. Y eso no ha cambiado nada. Wow. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Vamos a mirar. This might work. Please work. Para enfocar. Ya está. Mala faca. Capullo este. I'm getting some spectacular images here. El fondo está raro, ¿no? Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Porque está mal de la chota. Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray. 
and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. Beat up. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Cordissimo. sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed oh, fucker. Me. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense. That's it? what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate. To take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit. It was very satisfying to break it down. Kill you will us. not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Vamos a meterle ahí. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. Ay, ay, vamos a picarle un poco a ver si lo quemamos. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Pregunto que... Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway. So look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good. Because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. <sighs> After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. 
You're gonna die, motherfucker. For <laughs> Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Adro a drogar me fijo. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Y ahora? Pie derecho, te libero. Sorry. This is not art. This is purity personified. El diario. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Max. I wish you Hmm, ¿cómo podría ser una salida? Okay. Now. Wait. Please. Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Eso, eso. A ver, déjame verlos. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. Sí. Do so much Me puedo better. pirar de aquí, capullo. Gracias. Musiquita, que a saber qué música es. Clásica, fijo. No se cagaste, capullo. Ahí está. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular <laughs> since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <sighs> oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. <coughs> Obviously, Max has read them. Por supuesto. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. Winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Cara pijo. Al menos coincidimos con él. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. Bastard. Motherfucker. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? 
All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. This diary literally saved my life. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. Vamos a buscar David. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Eh, Academia Blackwell, 1910. Durante más de 100 años, la Academia Blackwell ha sido un oasis académico para el arte y la ciencia en el que los alumnos de todas las partes del mundo se han comprometido a cambiar las comunidades en las que viven. Más información en el interior. ¿Quiénes somos? Acceso, vida del campus, contactos. Vamos a seguir. Siguiente. Aquí Matt Jefferson. Conoce a tus profesores Matt Jefferson. Tras dejar su huella en el mundo de la fotografía de moda de los 90, Matt Jefferson siempre supo que quería compartir su visión e inspirar a otros. A finales de la primera década del siglo XXI, dio un celebrado giro, un celebrado giro a su carrera y se puso a dar clase por todo el país, acabando inevitablemente con una plaza permanente en la Academia Blackwell. Las clases del señor Jefferson de arte y fotografía son de las más populares de la envidiable historia de la, de la institución. Y no cabe duda de que sus estudiantes seguirán inspirando a todos con su propia sabiduría. Este le va a... Uh, ahí está. Contactos. Acceso. Marianna Taylor. Bolsa de Estudios. Lisa Abe. Seguridad. David Manson. 555-630-8243 Bueno Pues ya lo tenemos, ¿no? Ahora cogemos el móvil Por una vez, David Estoy esperando que te overreacte a esto Como mucho más que todo lo demás Y tome a Jefferson rápido You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Pues no estaría mal, eh. It's the past within oh, oh. the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Igual un poquito. Vamos a acabar aquí tirados por los suelos. I have to save Chloe. Vamos a cotillar como siempre. No tengo batería y esto es un coñazo. Hora de ponerme a tope a rimar. ¿Por qué re renunciar lo escrito por lo visual? Porque mis rimas son un muermazo. Pero Mark Jefferson es la caña. A todo el mundo le mola el que, el que más. Pero él solo tiene ojos para su Max. La odiaría. Pero a ella, plin. La envidia es pecado, lo sabes, Vic. Maduro un poco, hazlo por ti. Pues no parece que ella es así, ¿eh? Al menos exteriormente no lo demuestra. Sí, porque no, si no, otro muertito. Bruto GRLT 64S, con toda la velocidad y la potencia que se espera en una nueva Handlit. La GRLT-64 está repleta de características ampliadas y, man y manjabilidad. Enfoca lo que quieras, donde quieras. Recién salida de la cámara, las imágenes JPG ya tienen una calidad excelente. Incluso un nuevo nivel de profundidad, nitidez y maleabilidad. 5.299 dólares, casi nada, un regalazo. Uh, la camarita, esto parece así estilo Leica, ¿no? Bueno, no me dejan verla. Bueno, vamos a hablar con Kate. I'm sad for Kate, but so happy she's alive. Sí, porque recordar, no sé si era el capítulo 2 que murió, se suicidó. Dos o tres, no recuerdo bien ahora. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. 
so do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Hombre, rebobinando el tiempo, siempre acabamos acertando la opción correcta, ¿no? Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Ya, porque Rachel no creo que podamos salvarla. Ya se la cargó el el criajo. Oh, esto es un poco raro, ¿eh? I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. An everyday hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. Eres un héroe cotidiano, averígualo. Participa para ganar. Héroes cotidianos, concurso fotográfico. Participa enviando una imagen tuya o de otros en plena acción heroica. Plazo de presentación, 9 de octubre de 2013. El ganador viajará a San Francisco y representará su centro en el concurso nacional Héroes Cotidianos en la Galería Zeisger el 11 de octubre de 2013. Para participar, envía una imagen en papel aprobado. Los menores de 18 deberán incluir un formulario de autorización de los padres. La verdad es que... A ver si le damos... Pol... <coughs> Ojete... <coughs> Perdón. Tengo un poco de... Catarro y eso. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. No sé si será por... Todos los viajes, el tiempo que estamos haciendo, estamos jodiéndolo todo y vamos a acabar como el principio, el primer capítulo. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. Bueno, creo que ya solo nos quedan dos opciones. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Hala, toma fotita. Uh, espera, espera, espera. ¿No hay una cámara ahí? Vamos a mirarlo todo. I'd like to bust this up right now. <ríe> Molaría. Se la estampamos en la cabeza al pavo este. Ahí. Placa. Toma tu cámara. Capullo. We need to talk. Uh... Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay too. Al final está estirada. Eh? That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Nada well, fácil. I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very. Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first see. step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. No creo yo. Maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. 
Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> a ver qué ocurre. Parece que no cambian muchas cosas. Bueno, está así. Uf, preso. Ah, tomar por culo. Porque apoya. Encuentra el cuerpo. La heroína. Y no muere nuestra amiga. Chloe. Nos vamos a San Francisco. Wow. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, policía detiene al profesor local. Pues sí que lo ha hecho bien. Eso parece. Pero pregunto yo, ¿por qué será el episodio 5? Algo tiene que ocurrir, ¿no? Bueno, vamos a dejarlo aquí, que ya llevamos eh, jugado un buen cacho. Eh, y... No sé, pero... Sí que es raro, se ve el fondo un poco extraño, ¿no? Bueno, lo dicho, vamos a dejarlo aquí, eh, a ver cómo sucede todo un poco más adelante. Parece que hemos arreglado todo, todas las muertes, pero, pero está esto algo extraño, ¿no? Bueno, espero que os haya gustado y si es así, ya sabéis, darle dedito arriba, si no de abajo, suscribiros y nos vemos en el próximo capítulo de Life is Strange. Pero Chloe está vivo. Focus on that, Max. Now I have to wait until after my trip to see her again. And I'm not letting her out of my sight again. Nos vemos.